اوكي فيديو ليميتس بارت 6 طيب ليتس ستارت هاو هاو كلوز تو 5 هاو كلوز تو 5 تو 5 ماست اكس must x b for the values for the values of f of x for the values of f of x which is equal to 2x minus 1 2x minus 1 to be within to be within 0.5 Zero point one, sorry, from nine. This is clear that we should use the uh, definition of the limits, right? <clears throat> the formal definition of the limit, but we use numbers here. So, and you can see, you can check uh, video number uh, three or uh, four uh, uh, to, to see the. Uh, how I explain the formal definition of the limit. Absolute value of 2x minus 1, which is f of x, right? Minus L, which is given as 9, is, is less than 0 0.1. So, absolute value of f of x minus L should be less than the given Epsilon. This is how we should start. And you can go back to the other videos, preceding videos, to see exactly the explanation of the formal definition of the limit. Now, this is equivalent to say what? What this can give us? This means absolute value of 2x minus 1 minus 9, it's minus 10, should be less than 0 0.1. Equivalent to say we can do take two outside the absolute value as common factor and it is positive so it will be absolute value of two two times absolute value of x minus five is less than 0 0.1 we divide both sides by two we end up with absolute value of x minus five less than 0 0.1 divided by two is 0 0.05 by dividing by two both sides of the inequality for sure, without changing the inequality, we are dividing by positive number. All right. So what do we conclude over here? What is the, my conclusion? He said, how close to 5 must x be for the values of f of x to be, to be within 0 0.1 from 9? So my conclusion is x must be within 0 0.05, which is delta, right? x must be within 0 0.05 0 0.05 from 5 right 0 0.05 from 5 for f of x for f of x to be within 0. 0, 0. Point, uh, what was uh, epsilon was 0. 0.1 from 9 and that's it <clears throat> we still have time in this video let's go and do some more limits all right let's evaluate the following limits let's uh, find the limit of 1 over 2 plus x minus half over x as x approaches zero which is equal to first for sure i have to make this as one fraction so let me take common denominator what is the common denominator it is two multiplied with two plus x up right and over x if we divide 2 into 2 plus x by 2 plus x, what, get, what we get is 2 times 1, it's 2. Minus, if we divide the common denominator by 2, we what left is 2 plus x multiplied with 1. So it's minus into 2 plus x. I'm trying to do it as steps. Limit as x approaches 0 of 2 
minus 2 minus x over 4 plus 2x divided by x for sure it's over 1 which is equal limit as x approaches 0 in this numerator what do we have 2 minus 2 is 0 minus x multiplied with 1 the extremes is in the numerator so it's minus x over x into 4 plus 2x now we can simplify the x we end up with limit as x approaches 0 of minus 1 over 4 plus 2x now we can replace the 0 why we cannot replace the 0 from the beginning because we are going to get 1 over 2 plus x 1 over 2 plus 0 it's half minus half it's 0 in the numerator over 0 in the denominator which is undetermined form so here now we can we already get, get rid of the 0 by cancelling the x and x so what left is minus 1 over 4 and of this <coughs> sorry and of this function of this uh, limit let's do another one let's find the limit let's find the limit of radical let's find the limit of radical x squared plus 2x plus 3 plus 2x plus 3 right uh, minus radical 3 over uh, x as x approaches 0 as x approaches 0 also we cannot replace directly by replacing 0 we get radical 3 over here minus radical 3 0 in the numerator 0 in the denominator so let us change the form how we change this form since we have radical minus radical up in the numerator so we can multiply right let us multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the numerator so we are rationalizing the numerator in this case right so it was x squared plus 2x radical x squared plus 2x plus 3 minus radical 3 we multiply with its conjugate which is plus radical 3 <clears throat> all right now it's equal to limit as x approaches 0 of a minus b into a plus b it's a squared minus b squared squaring the first one we get rid of the radical and squaring minus b squared minus the second also already get 3 squared is 3 over let's leave it as it is over here x into x squared plus 2x plus 3 radical plus radical 3 3 3 cancel we can factorize for x in the numerator limit as x approaches 0 we simplify 3 minus 3 0 so x into x plus 2 over x into radical x squared plus 2x plus 3 my uh, plus radical 3 right <clears throat> we simplify the x now can we substitute instead of x 0 0 plus 2 it's 2 over radical 0 plus 0 plus 3 it's radical 3 plus radical 3 i don't have minus radical 3 anymore so it's 2 over 2 radical 3 which is equal to 1 over radical 3 if you want to rationalize we multiply with radical 3 radical 3 in the numerator and denominator we end up with radical 3 over 3. i think so we can do another one we we can do another one <clears throat> let's uh, we still have time let's do the limit let me have more space All right. let's start with this one the limit of cosine x minus 1 over tangent to x over tangent to x as x approaches 0 <coughs> is equal to all right also if we substitute 0 cosine cosine 0 is 1 minus 1 0 in the numerator tangent 2 times x tangent 2 times 0 0 in the numerator it's undetermined form so we have to change the form right okay let's let's try to do something here limit as x approaches zero uh, for sure we can we can we okay it's 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 much harder i think so if we change the tangent to x into sine to x over cosine to x it will be much harder so let me do another another way this time so let me uh, let's do cosine x minus one over over two x right over 2x uh, and over tangent to x over 2x so i divided 
I divided over to x both the numerator and the denominator, so I, I didn't change the fraction.